President Biden slamming pandemic politics today. While speaking from the White House, Biden unveiling his new plan to combat the pandemic, and he did not hold back in his criticism of Americans who still refuse vaccinations. This is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. And it's caused by the fact that despite America having unprecedented and successful vaccination program, despite the fact that for almost five months, free vaccines have been available in 80,000 different locations, we still have nearly 80 million Americans who have failed to get the shot. Biden placed much of the blame on elected officials who he said accused of, uh, he accused rather, are actively working to undermine the fight against COVID-19. Parts of Biden's new plan to combat the pandemic includes all businesses with 100 or more employees to have them ensure their staff be vaccinated or tested once a week. Biden also granted an executive order requiring all government employees to be vaccinated. Plus, vaccinations are required for the 300,000 educators in federal Head Start programs. He's also pushing masking and vaccine requirements for school teachers and staff at a local level. Presidents order part of a six part strategy to combat COVID-19 and the Delta variant. It's an escalation of his action in July, calling for federal workers to prove their vaccination status, be required to wear masks while at work and getting tested regularly. By any measure, this new order is much more wide sweeping. President Biden stepping up his pressure on Thursday to get more people vaccinated against COVID-19. He's going straight to their workplaces by enacting a new mandate. The Department of Labor is developing an emergency rule to require all employers with 100 or more employees to ensure their workforces are fully vaccinated. The president mandating these employees get vaccinated or face weekly testing and says that covers around 80 million people nationally. And maybe surprising to some, it also includes thousands in St. Joseph, especially since there are only between 60 to 80 businesses in the city that have the 100 or more employees that would fall under the mandate. You know, that's a relatively small number of employers, but probably uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't close to 70% of the workforce. They include employees at Mosaic Life Care, Triumph Foods, and the city of St. Joseph, among others, but also some of St. Joseph's biggest retailers, like Walmart and even hy V. Chamber of Commerce President Pat Lilly says he thinks some of them will actually welcome the leverage a federal mandate brings. I think most employers that I've spoken with, um, I think, uh, would like to see people take the vaccine. Uh, but that has a lot to do with the, the, the realities of running a business. You, you can't run your business if, you're, if you don't have the people there to do it. Lilly says this is just the latest challenge the pandemic has brought to trying to run a successful business. Trying to succeed with a shortage in the workforce, trying to succeed with employees uh, being concerned about taking the vaccine, being concerned about coming back to work because of the pandemic. Uh, being concerned about issues of child care. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of challenges uh, facing employers today. The requirement for big businesses to mandate vaccinations or weekly testing will be enacted through OSHA. Officials say employers flouting the rule will be fined $14,000 a violation. White House did not say when this new order will take effect.